Hello, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. So tonight, I'm going to be going over Rebel. This is a cask strength bourbon. It's a weeder. So what does that mean? For being a bourbon, you've got to be at least 51% corn. To be a weeder, that usually means, well, it does mean that the second highest grain percentage is going to be wheat. Um, so this one is a store pick from uh, my mistress, the bottle shop. Spend a lot of time there. They're store picks are usually phenomenal looking forward to this um, picked this up earlier this week thought this would be a great way to, to keep the weekend going uh, Friday night had a, a good night Saturday um, why this video is being released I'll be getting tattooed so my wife and I we both have tattoos and but one thing we've never done is got a tattoo together so tomorrow we're going to go and we're going to get a, a tattoo that means something to both of us um and i'll share maybe pictures of that later just to kind of show you what it was and give you kind of the meaning behind it if you're interested in that uh, also if you're interested about me in any way just ask some questions in the comments uh, i'd like to share a little bit about myself and i always love to learn about you uh, i had a couple of uh People that are, that are members on this channel, totally appreciate, you know, Terrence, Jacob, you guys have sent me some killer, killer samples. Uh, I absolutely appreciate that. Um, you guys have done a great job of getting some samples to me. Uh, Bees Knees, fantastic. Um, had, uh, what, I had Russell's 13 the other day, fantastic. I'm like, man. Um, so it, it makes it tough because they're turning me on to some things that I haven't had the opportunity to get yet that I'm just like, these are awesome. And I totally appreciate you guys for that. Thank you so much. Um, but this Rebel, let me go ahead and get into this. Like I said, this is store pick. Um, this is from the bottle shop. Looking forward to seeing what this is about. Uh, somebody else mentioned in the comments when they saw that I picked this up the other day that they had it and really enjoyed it. Uh, so looking forward to see what I find in this. I'm getting your typical caramels and vanillas, but I'm getting uh, getting some cherry on this. I'm getting a little bit of a a milk chocolate note to it too not over it's 120 proof but uh, it doesn't smell a lot of ethanol in there so i'm not smelling a lot of the proof in there it doesn't smell hot very faint on the oaks i'm not getting a whole lot of oak in there but let's give it a taste Very sweet uh, on the tongue right away. I'm getting a lot of that caramel. I'm getting some pepper on the tongue. I'm getting a little bit of leather and the oak in the back. So up front, I'm getting a lot of your classic bourbon notes right up front there. Getting some of the cherry in there now. Really enjoying that. You get a nice little play between the the sweet and then the maybe kind of more of the, the savory or, or some of your uh, leathers and tobaccos towards the back of it. getting a faint faint hit of the chocolate i smell it more on the nose than i'm actually getting it on the palate this has got about a medium uh, finish to it uh, for me it doesn't drink really hot it's got a good mouthfeel i wouldn't say it's a great mouthfeel or super soft mouthfeel but it's got a very good mouthfeel to it
the more I drink this, the, the easier it gets to drink. So it's one of these drinks that I would consider uh, crushable or something that you might consider that can be dangerous after a while because it's 120 proof and it gets easier to drink as you go through it. Um, you're not, like I said, not getting a, like a burning, you're uh, not burning up your chest, not getting a huge hug on there, but you're getting a lot of the good flavors, a little bit drier now on the back of the palate. So that's some of that oak and that's some of that uh, tobacco and the leather kicking in there. There it is, getting a little bit of that sweet cherry cordial now, getting a little more of the, the chocolate and the cherry, a lot of caramel through there with the pepper right through the through the mid palate uh, on the way on the back there. Really enjoying this Rebel. I think that it's, I think it was 50 bucks, forty nine ninety nine for a barrel pick, 120 proof. Very good bourbon, very, for me, easy to drink, but I like higher proof stuff. That's just who I am. It may not be your theme, but for me, this is this is kind of a classic bourbon with a little bit of chocolate cherry to it. Um, so you get your caramels, you get your, uh, I don't get a whole lot of vanilla, but some vanilla in there. Uh, but it's more caramel dominated, at least for me up front. Um, but you, you're also getting your oak, you're getting a little bit of leather, a little bit of tobacco. Um, not a super long finish, uh, not a super silky or soft mouthfeel or maybe super creamy, but a good mouthfeel to it. Um, and, and I'm absolutely enjoying this bourbon. I'm, I'm waiting to see as it opens up a little more. Sometimes after a couple of weeks, it'll, it'll even change a little bit more. So looking forward to that. Appreciate uh, all you guys have done. Over 525 subscribers right now. Tomorrow is the last day by 5 p.m. If you're going to get in for the giveaway, you need to find that video, say the key phrase, uh, but tomorrow at 5 p.m., draw on the name. Uh, can't wait to hear from the winner on that. Can't wait to hear what they would like. Uh, thank you so much for all you do. Um, next video you see, hopefully you'll have a picture of my tattoo on there, um, but I'll definitely have a video coming out uh, probably my Saturday sipper at 5, and then I'll have some kind of review um, Saturday night. And that'll also have the winner for the 500 subscribers. Um, definitely looking for that. Looking forward to the weekend. Not only the tattoo for myself, but getting a tattoo for my niece or with my niece um, in remembrance of her father will be there for her for that. Um, and then also picking up a, a real special uh, bottle this weekend as well, which uh, if things go well, my, my intent is to hopefully get that into somebody else that's a subscriber's hands to at least a sample on that. But looking forward to talking about that maybe on Sunday. Y'all have an amazing day. Uh, thank you for all you do. Salute.